everyone, today we are here at Dreamcatcher Horse Rescue, and we're here with June, aka Gift Shop Grandma. <laughs> Alright, so how was the rescue started? The rescue was started with Allie and her daughter purchasing this land, 10, uh, 10 acres, and they bought it because they wanted to ride their own personal horses. They had nothing in their mind was about rescue. Then as they were getting into the horse business in um, Claremont here in Lake County, they realized how many horses were abandoned, starving, and abused. Mm -hmm. And that's when Miss Allie and Lauren said, we've got to do something. We have to be their voices because they don't have voices of their own. So they started the rescue and they started to rescue horses. But to the community, we uh, allow people to come here, join in, do pony rides and trail rides on our, our horses that are healthy and good. There's Elsa there, and she's uh, part of the part of the trail rides Aww. and the, and part of what the children do in camp because she's so gentle. Aww. The big ones are gentle, and there's Lauren walking by, <laughs> and there's Allie walking by. <laughs> Those are the co-founders. <laughs> and um, so that's how it all started and how it's evolved into where it is now. got a better picture, uh, more pictures, not better picture, more pictures of when he fell out of the trailer and, and uh, nothing broke. Nothing in his body broke, but everything was a mess. And he had dragged, he was trying to get back on, so with his front, so his backs were dragging, so. This is Faith. You will notice Faith has two locks. And she has two locks. She did it. Oh. That's because you put your teeth out first. Yeah. Uh. And uh, she's sweet, 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 sweet. Isn't she gorgeous? She's gorgeous. You should see her in the arena. Oh my God. Yeah. Hello, Pony. Hello. Your ears. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, this one over here. Hi. <laughs> this guy. Wait, you got food? Yes. Yes. Just one more question. How can people get involved and help out? Okay, now when it comes to the volunteers, and they are the backbone of the ranch because they do all the labor around mm. here and the feedings and the mucking and, you know, walking the horses and make sure that um, they get clean water. Clean water is essential to a horse. They won't drink dirty water. So uh, the volunteers can either come here and say, I want to be a volunteer at your ranch, and then we will take care of them, okay? We will make sure they're signed up. They fill out applications. The parent, if they're underage, of course, the parents have to be involved in that decision. And uh, they can go online. There's applications out there. We have a website that has every form for everything you want to do here. And then we interview them and make sure that they're okay and that they, we can tell that they're very excited and that they love these animals. That's the important thing. The, you know, they're number one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, then as far as the community, we reach out to the community and we go out and we go to nursing homes and we go to schools Aww. and we go to McDonald's and we go to the Moose and we bring a horse with us or a couple horses 
and um, we have our brochures and we do our speeches about what it's like here at Dreamcatcher and the things that we do. Um, you know, it's sort of a, this is who we are, this is what we do. That's our sign that we have.